Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Korean ebook before it's gone. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, the next train will not stop. 다음 열차는 정차하지 않습니다. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Hi everyone, I'm Jae-hui. Welcome back to Korean Top Words. In this video, we'll be talking about Top 20 words that you need for the beach. Let's begin. Sunglasses. 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 햇빛이 강하면 선글라스를 껴요. If the sunlight is strong, wear the sunglasses. 해변. Beach. 해변. Beach. So this word has two Chinese characters. One is 해, meaning sea, and 변 is for side. So it literally means seaside. 해변을 거닐고 싶어요. I want to take a walk along the beach. 수영, swimming. 수영, swimming. This word has the Chinese character meaning water, 수. You can find this word 수 in other words that is related to water sports or something about water. For example, 수도, water pipe. So using this word 수영, you can say 수영할 수 있어요? Can you swim? 태양, sun. 태양, sun. And this word, you can use it for more situations, but it's kind of casual um, or just in general situations. You can use the word 해 instead. So using the word 태양, you can say 눈부신 태양 아래 바다가 빛나요. The sea shines under the brilliant sun. 야자수, palm tree. 야자수, palm tree. It's not common to see yajasu palm trees in Korea except for the Jeju Island because Jeju is really close to Taiwan and um, other Southeast Asian countries. You can see palm trees along the road but not in the Korean Peninsula side. So using that word, you can say 제주도에 가면 야자수를 볼수 있어요. You can see palm trees on Jeju Island. 수영복, swimsuit. 수영복. Swimming suit. So, for example, if you're um, shopping and you find something nice, you can ask your friend saying, 이 수영복 어때? How is the swimsuit? 바다, ocean. 바다, ocean. So in Korean, you can find this word 바다 um, not only in the places near beach, also some places where you can take raw fish. And sometimes you can also see the word ocean following the English word. So using that word, you can say, 이번 주말에 바다에 가자. Let's go to the beach this weekend. 안전요원, lifeguard. 안전요원, 
lifeguard. So here we have the word anjeon meaning safety and yuwon meaning agents. All together it means lifeguard. 안전 요원에게 도움을 요청하세요. Ask a lifeguard for help. Jet ski. Jet ski. Jet ski. Jet ski. In Korean, as you know, um, jet should be pronounced as jet. I never had a jet ski in my life, but I want to do that sometimes. But I just feel a little bit scary of doing something in the sea because I'm not good at swimming. Um, but if you want to try jet ski, you can say jet ski 타러 가자. Let's go for jet ski ride. Beach tower, beach tower, beach tower, beach tower. Even though we have the word 수건 meaning tower, it's common to say beach tower. Using the word, you can say. Beach tower is so. Do you have beach tower? Or like, if you want to ask a staff if they have a beach tower, you can also ask beach tower is so. Do you have a beach tower? Beach chair, beach chair, beach chair, beach chair. If you go to a very crowded um, beach in South Korea, like um, Haeundae, which is in Busan, people will ask you pay for using beach chair, the use of the beach chair. So they might ask you. Um, beach chair를 이용하시려면 돈을 내야 됩니다. You have to pay to use the beach chair. Or using that word, you can say, beach chair에 앉아 쉬세요. Please take a seat on the beach chair and relax. 모래성, sand castle. 모래성, sand castle. So here we have the word 모래 meaning sand and 성 meaning castle. I remember I used to make um, sand castle when I go to beach because I'm not good at swimming, so um, I prefer to do something on the beach side, not in the sea. In the case, I could say 모래성을 쌓았어요. I built a sand castle. Ice box, cooler. Ice box, cooler. Ice box에 음료수를 넣어가자. Let's bring drinks in the cooler. 조수, tide. 조수, tide. You can say 조수 to mean tide, um, or like if it's for a casual situation, you can also say the word 파도, which means both tide and wave. 조수는 하루에 두번 밀려온다. The tide flows twice a day. Suntan, tan, suntan, tan. So in Korean, if you want to say getting a tan, make sure to say suntan, not just tan. Um, so using the word, you can say 선탄하기 좋은 날씨예요. It's good weather to get a tan. 조리, flip-flop. 조리, flip-flop. There might be some different word to mean flip-flop, but people usually just say 조리, even though it sounds a little bit like a slang word. So using that word, you can say 여름에는 조리를 신어요. I wear flip-flops in the summer. Sun cream, sunscreen. Sun cream, sunscreen. So for example, if you want to make sure that your friend put on a sunscreen, you can say 선크림 발랐어? Did you put on sunscreen? Bikini, 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 bikini. These days, I think more and more people wear um, the swimsuit with long sleeve, like covering most of their body because many people don't want to get a tan. I don't see that many people wearing bikini these days, but um, using that word, you can say 비키니를 샀어요. I bought a bikini. 구명조끼, life vest. 구명조끼, life vest. 구명조끼를 입으세요. Please wear a life vest. Surfing, 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 surfing. You know, when you see the map, you can see three different seas in Korea. Like one is called West Sea, which is very close to China. You don't do any surfing in that West Sea. So people usually go to the East Sea, which is facing to Japan, when they want to try some surfing. I don't think there are many people actually going there. Um, but if you want to try that, you can say, surfing 하러 가자. Let's go surfing. So we just checked 20 words you need for the beach. I hope you like some of these words. And make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. Want to speak real Korean from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at koreanclass101.com. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. In this series, 한분 한국어, we are going to learn basic Korean expressions. It's super easy and it takes only three minutes. First of all, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Korean. 
There are a few different ways to do it depending on how formal you want to be. Let's first look at an informal way to introduce yourself. Annyeong Amy-ya, bangawa. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. Annyeong Amy-ya, bangawa. Here, annyeong means peace, so literally you say peace to say hello in Korean. Next, you can say your name, then add the sentence ending particle, ya. My name is Amy, so I say, Amy ya. Finally, you say, Pangawa. Pangawa means, nice to meet you. Now you try it. Start by saying, Annyeong. Then say your name, followed by, ya. If your name is David, you can say, David ya. Finally, say, Pangawa. Annyeong David ya, Pangawa. Now let's see a formal version. 안녕하세요, Amy예요. 반가워요. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. 안녕하세요, Amy예요. 반가워요. What has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at this together. First, 안녕 has to change to 안녕하세요. 하세요 is the verb meaning to do. If you add 하세요, Next to 안녕, it becomes more formal and polite. 안녕하세요. Next, you can replace the particle 야 with 에요. Both of them are sentence ending particles, and you can put them after nouns. But 야 is informal, and 에요 is formal. So if you say 에이미에요 instead of 에이미야, you can introduce your name in more formal way. Finally, 반가워요. Do you remember how to say nice to meet you in the informal way? 반가워. Here, you can simply add the particle 요 at the end of the verb. Then it becomes formal. 요 is a particle that can make a sentence polite. 반가워요. One more time, the formal way to introduce yourself is 안녕하세요, Amy예요, 반가워요. The informal way to introduce yourself is 안녕, Amy야, 반가워. Now it's time for Amy's insights. When you introduce yourself in Korea, it's polite to make a small bow. If you're a guy, bow with your hands at your sides. If you're a girl, bow with your hands in front of you. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Korean. Today, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Are you ready? Then let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the most common phrase, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다 means, I do thanks or thank you. To say thank you very much, you just need to add 대단히, which means very much or greatly. 대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 means greatly. So 대단히 감사합니다 is like saying thank you very much. In the last lesson, we saw that Korean has formal and informal ways of speaking. 감사합니다 is pretty formal. If you want to thank someone more casually, you can use a shorter phrase. 고마워. 고마워. Let's break down those phrases. In the formal way of saying thank you, 감사합니다. 감사 means thank you. And 합니다 is a formal way to say to do. So, 감사합니다 means I do thanks. And to make it less formal, we swap out 감사 with a different verb. That's 고마워. It has the same meaning of thank you, but it's more friendly. When someone thanks you, how should you answer? There's no set response like you're welcome in English. But there are a few things that you can say. The first thing is 아니에요. 아니에요. You literally are saying, no, 
But this is a common and informal way to respond to someone thanking you. You're telling the person that there's nothing to bother thanking you for. There's another phrase that's used to respond to thank you in Korean. 천만해요. 천만해요. But it's not used all that often. You're better off with 아니에요 in most situations. Now it's time for Amy's insights. 감사합니다 sounds formal. 고마워 sounds informal. What if you want to sound kind of formal but still kind of friendly? In that case, you can upgrade the informal 고마워 to 고마워요. You see, you simply add 요 at the end. 요 is the sentence ending particles that make sentences more polite. This is a nice way to thank your waiter. 고마워요. In the last lesson, we learned how to thank people by saying 감사합니다 and 고마워. In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in Korea. Are you ready? Then let's start. The most common informal greeting is 안녕. 안녕. 안녕 means peace. We say it when we meet someone and also when we leave, but only to a friend or someone younger than us. The more standard greeting that you will hear a lot in Korea is 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Literally, 안녕하세요 means, are you at peace? We use it to say hello when we meet someone. It's technically a question, but we don't always say it that way. 안녕하세요. Because 안녕하세요 is a question, some people answer it with 예, yeah, which means yes, before replying with the same question 안녕하세요. When it's time to leave, we have a couple different ways to say goodbye. If you're leaving and the other person is staying, say 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 계세요. 계세요 means please stay. So 안녕히 계세요 literally means please stay peacefully. A casual version of 안녕히 계세요 is 잘 있어. 잘 means well. And 있어 means stay informally. So 잘 있어 just means stay well. 잘 있어. If the other person is leaving, say 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요. 가세요 means please go. So 안녕히 가세요 literally means please go peacefully. A casual version of 안녕히 가세요 is 잘 가. 잘 means well and 가 means go informally. So 잘 가 just means go well. Now you know lots of ways to greet people in Korean. Let's review them all once again. To greet someone casually, 안녕. To greet someone respectfully, 안녕하세요. To say goodbye respectfully when you're leaving and the other person is staying. 안녕히 계세요. To say goodbye casually when you're leaving. 잘 있어. To say goodbye respectfully when the other person is leaving. 안녕히 가세요. To say goodbye casually when the other person is leaving. 잘 가. In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Korean, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're asking, even if their answer is no. Are you ready? Then let's start. Here's the basic way to ask whether someone speaks English. 영어 하세요? 영어 하세요? 영어 means English. And 하세요 means do you do? So 영어 하세요 means do you do English? If you want to be a little more specific and ask about someone's ability to speak English, you can say 영어 할수 있어요? 할수 있어요 means can you do? Can you do English? 영어 할수 있어요? 영어 할수 있어요? 
This sentence could be very helpful if you're in trouble on the street, in the restaurant, or hotel. No matter where you are, if you're looking for someone who can speak English, just ask. If you want to be super polite, just add 실례하지만, which means excuse me, but 실례하지만 영어 하세요? Excuse me, but do you speak English? 실례하지만 영어 하세요? The response will probably be like one of these three. Yeah? Yes? Yeah? 조금이요. Just a little. 조금이요. 아니 못해요. No, I don't. 아니 못해요. Since this last one is a negative statement about ability, we add 못, an adverb meaning can't. 못해요 means I can't. Now it's time for Amy's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. 일본어 for Japanese, 중국어 for Chinese, 스페인어 for Spanish, 독일어 for German, 프랑스어 for French. If you want to say, do you speak German? You can simply replace 영어 with 독일어. 독일어 하세요? Do you speak German? 독일어 하세요? In this lesson, we mentioned the word 실례합니다, meaning excuse me. Welcome to Fun and Easy Korean by KoreanClass101.com. Did you know that there are fun and quicker ways to text in Korea? 여러분 안녕하세요, 소피입니다. Hi everyone, I'm Sophie. In this lesson, you will learn all about Korean slang and abbreviations. If you want to master Korean slang and abbreviations, you need to learn how Koreans communicate and express their emotions through texting. In this video, you will learn simplified Korean texting slang and combined words. After watching this video, reaching out to your Korean friends through text will change for the better. These Korean text slang words and expressions are actually easier to learn than you think. So, make sure to keep on watching. Let's start with simplified Korean texting slang, which is common slang words that Koreans use frequently. You may notice that vowels are omitted, so you see only the first consonant of each syllable. That's why you cannot actually read or say these words. Koreans use them for texting only, using your phone or computer. The first is 기억 시옷, short for 감사, meaning thank you. 감사. 감사. This is how you use it. 선물 감사, which means thank you for your present. 선물 감사. 선물 감사. Another common Korean slang is 니은 니은, short for 노노, no, no, meaning no no. 노노, no, 노노. No. No, no. For example, 사진 노노, no, no, meaning no picture, which is a way of saying that there's no picture or don't take a picture. 사진 노노, no, no. 사진 노노. No, no. Next is 디귿 디귿, short for 덜덜. This is a word used to describe shivering, especially because it's frightening, shocking, or surprising. 덜덜, 덜덜. It is used like this. 노래는 좋은데 가사가 덜덜. The melody is great, but the lyrics are scary. 노래는 좋은데 가사가 덜덜. 노래는 좋은데 가사가 덜덜. Another one is 쌍지읒, 쌍지읒, short for 쯧쯧, meaning 쯧쯧, 쯧쯧. You use it this way. 또 
늦었네. 쯧쯧. He's late again. 또 늦었네. 쯧쯧. 또 늦었네. 쯧쯧. Next is 기억 기억, which is short for 고고, meaning let's go or let's do it. 고고. 고고. This is how you use it. 내일부터 다이어트 고고. Which means I will go on a diet from tomorrow. 내일부터 다이어트 고고. 내일부터 다이어트 고고. Text your friend goodbye through this. 비읍 비읍. Short for 바이 바이. Meaning goodbye. 바이 바이. 바이 바이. Here is an example. 내일 봐. 바이 바이. See you tomorrow. Bye. 내일 봐. 바이 바이. 내일 봐. 바이 바이. Another one is 이응 이응. Short for 응. Meaning yes. 응. 응. You can use it this way. 응 응. 알겠어. Yes, I got it. 응 응. 알겠어. 응 응. 알겠어. Is it your friend's birthday today? Text them with this. Cute, 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 cute. Short for 축하, 축하. Meaning, congratulations, literally. We use this expression on someone's birthday, marriage, or graduation when you want to say congratulations. 축하, 축하. 축하, 축하. For example, 생일 축하 축하 Happy birthday 생일 축하 축하 생일 축하 축하 Another frequent text slang is 이응 키읔 Short for 오케이 Meaning 오케이 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 for example, 오케이, 그렇게 할게. Okay, I will do that. 오케이, 그렇게 할게. 오케이, 그렇게 할게. If you did something that hurts the feelings of your Korean friend, text him or her with 지읒, 시옷. A short version of 죄송. Meaning, sorry. 죄송. 죄송. And in an example, 아, 실수. 죄송. Oh, my mistake. I'm sorry. 아, 실수. 죄송. 아, 실수. 죄송. Let your Korean friends know they are being funny by texting. 키우, 키우, 키우. Short for 크크크, which is the sound of laughter. It is the same as LOL, laughing out loud. 크크크, 크크크. You can use it when commenting on a funny picture. There is a similar expression, 히읗, 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 which is short for 흐, 흐, 흐 which represents a weaker last sound than ku 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 hu 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 next is text slang with combined words these are a bit more complicated than the previous ones i gave you because they are composed of more than one korean expression here are some examples the first word in our list is chim Short for 지금, meaning now. 짐, 짐. In a sentence, you could say 짐 어디? 
Where are you now? 짐 어디? 짐 어디? Sam is another Korean slang short for 선생님 meaning teacher Sam Sam Here it is in a sentence 우리 Sam 진짜 잘생긴 것 같아 I think my teacher is really handsome 우리 쌤 진짜 잘생긴 것 같아 우리 쌤 진짜 잘생긴 것 같아 Next is 어케 Short for 어떻게 Meaning how 어케 어케 For example 이거 어케 쓰는 거지? How can I use this? 이거 어케 쓰는 거지? 이거 어케 쓰는 거지? If your Korean friend invited you to go hiking, but you don't feel like going, reply with 다음 Short for 다음 Meaning next time 다음 다음 In a sentence 다음에 가자. Let's go next time. 다음에 가자. 다음에 가자. Here is another Korean slang. 스샷. Short for 스크린샷. Meaning screenshot. 스샷. 스샷. Here is an example. 폰 스샷 찍어 보내줘. Send me the screenshot of your phone. 폰 스샷 찍어 보내줘. 폰 스샷 찍어 보내줘. Another one is 눈팅. Short for 눈채팅. Meaning to read a chat without interacting. 눈팅. 눈팅. For example, 난 인스타그램은 그냥 눈팅만 해. I spend time lurking on Instagram. 난 인스타그램은 그냥 눈팅만 해. 난 인스타그램은 그냥 눈팅만 해. Do you like what you are eating at a restaurant? Text your friend with 강추. Short for 강력 추천 meaning highly recommended 강추 강추 for example 이거 짱 맛있어 강추 this is really delicious highly recommended 이거 짱 맛있어 강추 이거 짱 맛있어 강추 비번 is a slang that you will find very useful. It is short for 비밀번호, meaning passwords. 비번, 비번. And now an example. 엄마, 아파트 비번 뭐야? Mom, what's the code for our apartment door? 엄마, 아파트 비번 뭐야? 엄마, 아파트 비번 뭐야? Did you know there's a Korean slang word for the word computer? It's com. Short for 컴퓨터. com. com. Here it is in a sentence. 이 어플 com으로도 돼? Does this app work on the computer too? 이 어플 com으로도 돼? 이 어플 컴으로도 돼? Here's a slang you can use with your Korean office mate. 메일 Short for 메일 Meaning email. 메일 메일 For example, you could say 나 메일 좀 쓸게. Let me write an email. 나 메일 좀 쓸게. 나 메일좀 쓸게 Next is 캠 
short for game, meaning game. Kem. Kem. It's perfect Korean slang you can use with your Korean gamer friends. And now in a sentence. Kem aro gal konde, gachi galle? We are going to play a game. Do you want to play too? Kem aro gal konde, gachi galle? Kem aro gal konde. Next is 울, short for 우리, meaning we, our or my. 울, 울. For example, 울 남친 잘생겼지. My boyfriend is handsome, right? 울 남친 잘생겼지. 울 남친 잘생겼지. Next is 짱나. Short for 짜증나. Meaning I am annoyed or I'm cranky. This slang is perfect when you feel like expressing your emotions. 짱나. 짱나. For example, 날씨 더워서 너무 짱나. I feel so cranky because of this hot weather. 날씨 더워서 넘 짱나. 날씨 더워서 넘 짱나. Next is 근데. Short for 그런데. Meaning by the way or but. 근데. 근데. So you might say, 이거 비싸 보이지? 근데 사실 되게 싸. This looks expensive, right? But it's actually very cheap. 이거 비싸 보이지? 근데 사실 되게 싸. 이거 비싸 보이지? 근데 사실 되게 싸. You can also use the slang 때문에. Short for 때문에, meaning because of. 때문에, 때문에. In an example, 너 때문에 엄마가 화났잖아. Mom is angry because of you. 너 때문에 엄마가 화났잖아. 너 때문에 엄마가 화났잖아. Try using 아님 when texting. It's short for 아니면, meaning or, or if not. 아님, 아님. In a sentence, 초콜릿 먹을래, 아님 쿠키 먹을래? Do you want to eat some chocolates or some cookies? 초콜릿 먹을래, 아님 쿠키 먹을래? 초콜릿 먹을래? 아님 쿠키 먹을래? Now, let's learn 알써. Short for 알겠어. Meaning, okay. 알써. 알써. For example, 알써. 집 가는 길에 우유 사 갈게. Okay, I will buy some milk on the way home. 알써, 집에 가는 길에 우유 사 갈게. 알써, 집에 가는 길에 우유 사 갈게. Let your Korean friends know that it's your first time in Korea or it's your first time meeting them by texting. 처음, short for 처음, meaning for the first time. 처음, 처음. You could say, 한국 음식은 처음 먹어봐. This is my first time to try Korean cuisine. 한국 음식은 처음 먹어봐. 한국 음식은 처음 먹어봐. Next is 내일. Short for 내일. 
is the slang you use when you want to text tomorrow. 내일, 내일. For example, 내일 보자. See you tomorrow. 내일 보자. 내일 보자. 제일. On the other hand, it's short for 제일, meaning the most, the best. 제일, 제일. And in a sentence, 네가 제일 예뻐, which means you're the prettiest. 네가 제일 예뻐. 네가 제일 예뻐. Next is 좋아. Short for 좋아. Meaning I like. 좋아. 좋아. For example, 난 딸기 케이크가 좋아. Meaning I like strawberry cake. 난 딸기 케이크가 좋아. 난 딸기 케이크가 좋아. 반가. Short for 반갑습니다. Meaning nice to meet you. 반가. 반가. This word is used on the internet or chat and might be considered somewhat old fashioned. You can still come across it in many places, so it's a good word to remember. 안녕, 반가, 반가. Hello, nice to meet you. 안녕, 반가, 반가. 안녕, 반가, 반가. Now, let's learn about slang for the days of the week. 월요일. Short for 월요일. Meaning Monday. 화요일. Short for 화요일. Meaning Tuesday. 수요일. Short for 수요일. Meaning Wednesday. 목요일. Short for 목요일. Meaning Thursday. 금요일. Short for 금요일. Meaning Friday. 토요일, short for 토요일, meaning Saturday. 일요일, short for 일요일, meaning Sunday. Try using one of these like this. 그럼 월요일에 볼까? Shall we meet on Monday? 그럼 월요일에 볼까? 그럼 월요일에 볼까? In this lesson, you learn different Korean slang words used in texting. You can now communicate with your Korean friends through simplified Korean slang, combined words, emoticons, and text slang with numbers. You don't have to create long and boring messages anymore whenever you want to get in touch with your Korean friends. That's it for today. See you next time. 다음에 또 봐요. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Korean ebook before it's gone.